Today, we will talk about the float. It is money within the banking system that is counted twice briefly due to delays in registering a deposit or withdrawal. In the banking system, float is money that is temporarily counted twice due to delays in registering a deposit or withdrawal. This usually happens because of the delay in processing paper checks. When a check is deposited, the bank credits the recipient's account immediately, but it takes time to receive the check from the payer's bank and record it. Until the check clears the payer's account, the amount it is written for is counted twice, appearing in both the recipient's and payer's banks. The Federal Reserve defines two types of float. Holdover float results from processing delays, typically due to weekend and seasonal backlogs. Transportation float occurs due to inclement weather and air traffic delays. The Federal Reserve uses these trends to forecast float levels and to implement monetary policy. The amount of float fluctuates randomly but has definite weekly and seasonal trends. The float can be calculated using the formula that represents the net effect of checks in the process of clearing. The average daily float is commonly used and is calculated by dividing the total value of checks in the collection process by the number of days in the period. For example, a company with $15,000 of float outstanding for the first 14 days of the month and $19,000 for the last 17 days will calculate its average daily float for the month. Individuals can use float to their advantage by timing payments and deposits to gain time or earn interest before payments clear their bank. For example, if a credit card payment is due on a certain date, an individual can write a check before having the full amount in the bank, counting on the time before the check clears the account. Technological advances have significantly reduced float due to the widespread use of electronic payments, direct deposit, and scanning electronic checks. The decline in the number of checks each year, along with innovative payment services, might potentially make float a thing of the past. Large companies and financial institutions often use float for profit by speeding up deposits or slowing down payment presentations. However, playing with float can be illegal if it involves the use of others' funds, as seen in the E.F. Hutton wire fraud case in 1985. Float can distort the measurement of a nation's money supply due to the double counting of money. Here are two key takeaways. 1. The float is money that is counted twice due to delays in processing checks. 2. Technology has significantly reduced the use of float. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.